In this video, we're going to add a timeout to a while loop. In the last video, we made a drive to view mark op mode, an autonomous op mode, which would drive forward and then depending on the view mark the robot sees, make a decision and do a particular action. So in the run op mode function of the drive to view mark op mode, we started by initializing the robot and initializing the Vuforia software for tracking view marks. Then we had some telemetry code and then the wait for start function. After someone presses the play button so that we can start, we start tracking the view marks. We turn on the robot so that it starts driving forward and then we enter the while loop. Now this while loop will check over and over for whether or not the camera sees a view mark. And currently there are only two ways to leave the while loop. One is that we check whether or not the op mode is active. So it says while op mode is active. So if someone presses the stop button on the phone, the while loop will stop. The second way is on line 170. If we see a view mark that is not unknown, we then break on line 176, breaking us out of the while loop. Once we leave the while loop, we stop driving and then use the if statement to decide what we should do based on which view mark we saw. But there's potentially a problem with this code. What happens if the camera doesn't see a view mark? It's going to keep driving and driving until someone presses the stop button. A better solution is to add in a timeout so that you say, look for the view mark for a certain amount of time, and if we go over that amount of time, give up. Now to create this timeout, it's actually very simple, and we've come across this code before. We did something similar for the drive straight function. In the drive straight function, we turned on our motors to start driving, and then at the second part of the function, we create a elapsed time variable so that we can track the amount of time. Then, in the while loop, we still check if the op mode is active and we check the time to make sure that it's less than a certain number of seconds. So I'm going to copy the creation of the runtime variable and the runtime reset and I'm going to use that in the drive to view mark op mode because I need a timer to keep track of the amount of time. So runtime is our variable of the type elapsed time and we are going to reset it to zero before we enter the while loop. Now that we have the timer we can add to the while loop condition. So we want to run this while loop while the op mode is active and the number of seconds on the timer is less than the number of seconds before you want to give up checking for the view mark. In this case I'm just going to use three seconds. So now there are three ways to leave this loop. Someone press the stop button. We time out because we haven't found the view mark in time. And then also because we did find a view mark and it was not unknown. Regardless of why we leave the while loop, the next instruction will be line 189 where it tells it to stop driving. Next is the if statement that helps us make a decision about what we want the robot to do. If it is the left view mark, I'm having the robot drive left. If it is the right view mark, I'm having it turn right. And then we had a catch-all, the else statement, say, hey, well, the only other option was center, and so therefore drive backwards. But now we have a problem, because now we've created another way for you to get out of the while loop, that means that the else statement could be catching unknown or center. So now we're going to want to be more specific. So we're going to change the else to an else if, and we're going to explicitly check to see that the view mark is equal to center. Then you can make a new else statement to handle the situation where it's unknown. So for this example, maybe if we don't see the view mark, I want the robot to drive forward. If you don't want the robot to do anything, you can even get rid of the else statement 
and then it'll go straight to robot stop driving. All right, let's see if it builds.